Hey, welcome back to Working Class Customs YouTube channel. Welcome back once again to Stable B. We are still here and we're still talking about basically the same thing, which is this 2019 Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory. I say still talking about because in the last few videos we've been talking about this race bike, but there were several subjects that I thought or at least felt were worth their own video. One of those was the bike itself. One of those brake lever guards. You should go check those out. And the last one is gonna be safety wire. So tonight, in tonight's video, we're gonna talk about what safety wire is, why it's required on a race bike and how to apply it properly. The first thing I will say is that you have to have safety wire and you gotta have safety wire pliers. This is also often called lock wire and lock wire pliers. So when you're searching for them, easiest place to get them on Amazon. I don't necessarily recommend the big set that make these in six inch versions. That's plenty, but I already had a set of these. So this is what we're gonna use. Before we get into the actual demonstration and kind of talking you through how it is, please click the subscribe button down below and throw a like on the video. If you have any questions throughout this video, let me know down in the comments section, or you can always hit me up on Instagram at jkmiddlepodcast. Also, for my club racers in the audience or my track day junkies that have a race bike that they don't race yet, one, go race the race bike. Two, if you get any other tips or tricks for race wiring and or, sorry, safety wiring, ah, we should just change the name to race wiring. That's so much cooler. Anyway, and or drilling your bolts, let me know down in the comments so that everyone else that's watching this doing it for the first time can get that feedback also. Thank you, let's get into it. All right, first thing we're gonna talk about is the safety wire. So it is called safety lock wire. It's T302, 304 stainless steel. It is important that you get stainless steel. They make this in aluminum and or other metals. I have before, not for a race bike, but bought aluminum and it, it, it just breaks so easily. Uh, so. If you're at the store and you're like, oh yeah, hey, that looks like some pretty good wire, make sure it is actually stainless steel wire. Uh, and then the specific size that I got was 32 thousandths of an inch or 0.81 millimeters. Anyway, bought it on Amazon. I'll have a link down in the description. You get one pound of it for 20 bucks, 32 thousandths is pretty much the perfect size for everything on a motorcycle. The standard is you wanna go for the biggest size that'll fit in the hole. But if you're drilling the hole yourself, it gets a little awkward. So 32 thousandths plain strong enough to keep everything on there. Also still small enough that it's not just like crazy because you can get some pretty thick stuff. You can get real thin stuff. 32 thousands is just about perfect. I would say you could go down to 28 also, but anyway, that's besides the point. That's the safety wire. We'll put that down for now. These are safety wire pliers or lock wire pliers. So they are kind of just needle nose pliers per the normal. They got the wire cutter in the middle. The cool part is you clip them together, clamp, slide this thing down the lock, lock it, and then you can twist the pliers. It's a lot easier when it's connected to the safety wire and that'll spring back. So uh, anyway, that's gonna twist that wire for you and you let go of it. The demonstration will show it better, but you do want a set of these, it makes it so much easier. You don't have to have them. You can absolutely twist your stuff by yourself. This just makes it a lot easier to get it nice and tight and look nice and everything else. So we're gonna go ahead and safety wire up the caliper, brake caliper on the front of this bike. I'll show you kind of how to do it. Uh, the whole, talk about the purpose of it. And yeah, I think that's about it. So let's get into it. We're doing our brake caliper. We've got two bolts. I've got a hole down here in the bottom and a hole over here on this side. So what we're gonna do is go from this hole this way to here. And it, it's kind of a Z pattern. If I had a hole on the other side, it'd be a little easier to show that it would come out the, out the bottom specifically and then go around. But the important part is that this needs to be rotating this direction to tighten. So we're gonna have it pull this way. And then it needs to, when it pulls on this, it needs to pull this in a tightening direction, right? So if this loosens, it's gonna pull that up and tighten it. And if this one goes to loosen, it's gonna pull that out that way and tighten it. So anyway, we're gonna take our safety wire, gonna grab like plenty you don't need a ton, but you can try and like measure and double up or you can just get a good bit. Uh, I usually just go for the good bit method. We're gonna run our safety wire through our top bolt here. Can get a little fun <laughs> to get it in and then more importantly or more difficultly get it back out. So stuff it through that hole. Usually I'll put a slight bend in it. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that. So when you get it through, it comes through nice and easy. Uh, and then I'll just take my pliers from there and we're gonna pull up so you won't actually see it very well. But if you pull in the direction that you're putting the wire in, it's a lot easier, it's kind of wild. So you're gonna pull and keep pulling until you get to the halfway point. So until you're 
top wire. Ooh, I want to do that. Meets your bottom wire. Well, you're almost there. And if you have plenty of wire, you don't have to worry about being perfect. So we're about lined up down here. So what we're gonna do now, make sure this is relatively straightened out. We're gonna bring it all the way down to our hole. And I'm actually just gonna put a bend in it right there. So at that bend, I know that that's my mark for where I'm gonna clamp my safety wires and start my twist. So you wanna twist it in between. So you take your safety wires, clamp them on there, pull the lock down. The lock is just this guy right here. You pull it down and locks it clamped. And then we start our twisting. So when you're twisting, if you have a lot, you'll get this like big old tail. And if you had the bend, like I said, it'll scratch up all your stuff. So you can actually move that down on your pliers, just right next to them. And then it'll stay down there with it. So you're gonna twist, pull that thing all the way out, and then you just release it at the end. And it should spring back in. And in other venues in the world that are not racing motorcycles, there are requirements for how many twists per inch you have to have. But that's also based off the size of the lock wire and everything else. And so I wanna worry about it too much. Uh, just know that you can't overdo it. And if you overdo it, you'll just snap it and then you'll have to restart. And it can be extremely frustrating. I haven't done that in a long time, but it is frustrating when it happens. So once again, I just put a little bend in there to make it easier to feed into the hole and then get out. I'm gonna feed it into our hole, just one side, not both. And then it's coming out. Take our pliers again, work it all the way through. And once we have it pretty much all the way through, we wanna make sure that's nice and tight there. And then you can pull it down and together with the other wire. So once we have it through there, we're gonna check our tautness, which is pretty good. I'm gonna do another clamp. I usually just kinda go, I mean, you're not gonna be able to reuse any of this, so I'll give myself plenty. It makes it look a little nicer usually. And we just do the same twist. Twist till it's all the way twisted up, nice and tight. Do another half twist, cool. Then you're gonna cut. I usually take my pliers. I'll go one length of plier. Mark it ish in my head and go another out. So about an inch out, just over, and then cut it. So then I have that little tail. And with that tail, I'm just gonna take our pliers, clamp it, and fold that tail back in. Maybe. Yeah, that'll be fine. Anyway, purpose of folding the tail back in on itself is so that you don't cut yourself when you're down here putting your tire warmers on or whatever else. You just want that tail tucked in, up against, or it can't scratch you. When you're doing this, it needs to be tight. And like I said, it's a lot easier if your holes are pre-drilled. If you have a little bit of play, it's okay. Uh, that's almost too much. I might have to add another twist or two to that. Which also, you can always do this by hand, once again. Now it's nice and tight. So while you're doing it, a little bit of twist, feel it. If it's good, it's good. Just make sure you go in the right direction so that this one's gonna tighten if this one goes to loosen. And if this one goes to loosen, it'll pull this one tight. So i.e. if they're torqued how they should be, you can't loosen this one because this one's already as tight as it can be. And it keeps it on. That's just a quick demonstration on safety wire. The reason why we have safety wire is there are things on the bike that we very specifically don't want to come off, i.e. anything that has to do with making the bike go or making the bike stop going and anything that could leak fluid. So your oil fill cap, the oil dipstick if you have one, oil drain bolt, water fill cap, coolant drain bolt, water drain bolt, whichever you want to call it, your radiator cap, we said oil, we said coolant, uh, and then your rear axle nut, front axle nut, front axle pinch bolts and your brake caliper bolts. For a more detailed list, and for your club specifically, you gotta go to the rule book and read through it and make sure you meet all those safety requirements. They might have more. They should have at least those. Those are kind of the general basics that every club across America that's sanctioned by the AMA should have. So, but take a look at your rule book, make sure you meet all the requirements. Hopefully, if you've never safety wired before, that demonstrated a little bit of it, I hope, and then answered some questions. Once again, if you have any other questions, let me know and I can walk you through it. 
Uh, you can also look at just pictures online and it makes a kind of helps out if you have a diagram and just two bolts and you watch where the where the wire goes. So hopefully that answered your questions and it was a decent demonstration on how to safety wire and the importance of safety wire and how all that works. If there's anything else, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.